Hello again folks, today I will be showing you seven of the best multi-step form examples that we found after years of research and industry experience. Multi-step forms are kind of our thing at GrowForms, so I've been looking forward to tearing down some forms and really walking through what makes them convert visitors into leads. Each form has been chosen not just because it looks pretty, though that certainly does help, but because we can tell it is a high converting form that is driving a decent amount of leads. My name is Colin, I will be your lead driving instructor for this video and let's jump right in. Before we get started, let's cover some conversion rate optimization or CRO essentials. After all, we need to know what makes a good form before we know really what we're looking at. I'll be referring to a simple model called Lyft throughout the video, coined by Chris Goward from conversion.com. The Lyft model is the quickest way that I've found to explain CRO in a nutshell. Here it is, pause the video if you need to. To cut a very long story short, your value proposition is the main vehicle of a high converting form. Clarity and relevance will promote your value proposition and lift up your conversion rate, whereas distraction and anxiety will detract from your value proposition and cause a drop in your conversion rate. Out the back, adding a sense of urgency adds thrust to the whole equation and inspires action from your users. If you're new to CRO and haven't seen this diagram before, it's worth checking out my primer video which goes into this diagram in much more detail and it should be somewhere above my left shoulder in the very top corner. Right, on to the first of our seven top forms. If you've ever tried to order a hot water boiler or a furnace for my friends stateside, you'll know how frustrating it can be. You'll spend hours gathering quotes and days chasing installers for delivery dates. Boxed changed all of that, making ordering a new boiler super easy with this multi-step form. I love how this form provides just enough information at a glance to appear simple and intuitive whilst always providing more information a click or a tap away. From my perspective, this form scores a 10 out of 10 for clarity with crystal clear design and bright, bold calls to action. Love it. The box team have clearly poured over every part of this process, removing friction and doubt where possible. They go against the grain by showing an on-the-wall price in this form rather than a price that will increase later down the line, which reduces the anxiety throughout the entire process. All right, this form has been around for a few years now and is actually one of the first forms that inspired us. Ready for it? When I go to close this tab, it appears as an overlay. This is designed as a last-ditch attempt to get users to engage. Really smart. The form itself is clear, accessible, it's got a lovely little progress bar, reassuring the user they're getting closer to the end, grayscale customer logos adding to the brand's credibility without adding a distraction, but cleverly can be expanded when you mouse over them. The overall value proposition is solid here. You can have world-class talent join your team, but my one criticism is it's not entirely clear what happens once you submit the form, which could add to anxiety, causing a decrease in conversion rate, or decrease, if I could say the word correctly. This is an interesting one because, I won't lie, I'm a little bit torn on conversational forms. You know the ones where a clearly pre-written page is attempting to have a pretend conversation with you. Done badly, they can come across as kind of patronizing and just a little 2017. But done well, which is the case here, they can make for a really smooth, intuitive experience that elevates your whole landing page. This is Lemonade.com's simple life insurance quote process, which takes a fresh, conversational approach. It looks great in their brand colors, and I also love the benefit-driven copy right here. I'll get you an awesome price within minutes, which really does help focus the user on why they're filling the form in. Although my dad would definitely have an issue with the flagrant use of the word awesome. It's a bit too modern for his taste. I like the fact they're putting the high threat or difficult questions like date of birth at the end, which is always good advice for multi-step forms, and this address lookup is also really neat. 
I like it. The only thing I'd change would be to add a nice progress bar so the user knows they're making their way solidly through the form and they're less likely to jump off early. HelloFresh's form is a bit of a masterclass in copywriting as well as form design. They clearly articulate the value proposition on the homepage so you're left in no doubt as to why you should sign up to their service as well as what the service is going to do for you. Clever calculations in the form itself tell you exactly how much you're saving, encouraging a larger basket and keeping everything super clean and clear. The only thing I'd change about this form would be adding a bit more in the way of graphics. Why not really show the user what they're getting in each box and reinforce that value proposition as we progress through the form? Show me the salmon, tease me with tortellini, flatter me with flan. Love a good flan. Now this form is beautifully designed and almost feels like a native app experience rather than a website. There's so much attention to detail here in the shadows, the animation and the hover effects. The value proposition, get quotes within minutes, is super clear and it's completely apparent what's going to happen once we fill it in. We're going to get quotes. Great. There's even a sense of urgency added by a little alert in the top corner of the number of people who recently viewed this service. If we remember our lift diagram, here it is, distraction is kept to a minimum by sort of greying out the rest of the page as we fill in the form. There's also a great sense of progress as we go through the form. It's always clear what the next step is with this clear, prominent continue button. Remember how important value proposition is in the Lyft model? Well, here, Client Boost really show us a value proposition and a fair exchange. Fill in our form and get your free marketing plan. The questions are benefit driven and framed around the user's needs. They ask, what can we help with? Rather than going straight into the user's personal information, which I, as a user, always appreciate. There's some sense of urgency being added here with the wording, so you win faster. Although perhaps we'd experiment with some added time pressure. In our number one spot is this Solar Quotes lead generation form. The value proposition is super clear and highlighted at the very top there. We can save 70% on energy bills and find the best price. In terms of design, the bright attractive buttons sit right in the center of the screen. And if I then fold this down into a mobile device size, it looks great as well. I really like how they make it clear why they ask each answer, reducing anxiety and keeping relevance and clarity high as we make progress. The question order here is also a perfect example of how multi-step forms should be done. Low threat questions at the beginning in a simple button format, followed by higher threat questions like your postcode, address, and eventually the name further on in the form. This particular form was built on Growform, the form builder designed to get you more leads from the same traffic. Growform has hundreds of templates built in from solar quotes to life insurance, makes it super easy to create a high converting form that follows all of the best practices that I've shown you in this video in mere minutes. If that sounds good to you and you want to check it out for yourself, there's a 14 day free trial available, link is in the description, and best of all, you don't need to submit your credit card details, unlike some other companies who ask you for them in the hopes that you forget to cancel at the end of the two weeks and take your money anyway. And on that positive note, it's time to bring this video to a close. Thank you so much for watching. Leave a like and subscribe if you are still to do so, and I trust I will see you again very soon for more multi-step form magic. See you in a bit.